Hello friends, this is DMC Aim and this is my quick review of Roastworks Coffee Co. This is their bowl blend, whole bean coffee and I found this one in Tesco and it was on offer on the club card for £4. Normally retails for £4.95 but I did buy this one months and months ago. It's been in the cupboard for well before Christmas so for all I know the price has gone up since then because a lot of the coffees seem to have shot up in price quite recently. So, and that will show on the back because it says the roasted date there was 2023 and the best before is the 17th for the 1st, 2024. So I'm drinking this one just before the best before date. They only put six months on these by the looks of it, which is a decent thing for guaranteeing the quality of the coffee when you come to drink it because most supermarket coffees have got a 12 month um, best before dates on, even longer in some cases, two years in, in uh, with um, Lavazza for instance, with their um, vacuum sealed uh, brick type coffees, they put really long dates on those, so six months and that sort of guarantees that it's going to be still quite fresh. So let's take a look at the pack. It says the bold, our signature espresso blend from outstanding producers in Brazil and Guatemala, roasted a little darker to accentuate body richness and notes of black forest gato. On the side, not much. On the back it says the acidity is 2, the sweetness is 4 and the body is 5, roast level is 5. The tasting notes are black forest gato, caramel and it says it is intense. It says it's suitable for all brewing methods as it's been so you have to grind it yourself anyway. And the blend says it's time to reduce in the dark side of life. This blend has been roasted for body and strength, grown by two specialty, specialty coffee producers in Brazil and Guatemala who dedicate their time to producing the sweetest, highest quality coffees. There we go, roasted in the UK, ingredients 100% Arabica and the net weight is 200 gram bags. I think that's the reason I've added in the cupboard for quite a while because for some reason I don't like opening these 200 gram bags um, for reviews because they sort of go down very quickly and you don't get much chance to taste them before you have to keep some beans back and some ground coffee to do the review. So that is it for the pack. So let's um, take a look at the beans. Now for a roast five it looks quite light to me and it's a nice even roast even though there's two sort of different types of beans in there they're all a sort of standard size and really even roast across all of them no burnt edges in there slightly oily spots on a few of the beans but nothing major there and the aroma is, like the pack suggests, very caramelly. For a roast level of five, it's quite subdued. Even when I first opened the bag, it was a little dull. It's more like a light roast to me with a nice, subtle, fruity hint there. And it's good quality as well. I'm just hoping for more at some point. So let's see if grinding brings out any more sort of interesting features about this coffee but good quality so far so we'll take a quick look at the ground coffee and I've ground this a little bit too fine because it was sort of clogging up my coffee machine but yeah it's clumping together a little bit but the, it, it's not sort of the, your typical dark roast where it's oily or has a sort of really dark um, colour to it. This is still quite light, this one. And after grinding, it's pretty much the same. The richness is coming through a bit more, adding a 
nice bite to the aroma. There's a sweetness, but the fruity hint has dissipated a bit. Again, I'm a bit disappointed, so I'm pinning my hopes all on the taste now to save this coffee from mid-table obscurity. So, <clears throat> taste-wise, well, it's a really nice coffee. There's nothing that really jumps out at you, but it's a good, smooth blend. Even when black, it's got a good body and creamy mouthfeel. There's a nice earthiness that progresses to the fruity hint. It's described as black forest gato on the pack, and that's a good way of saying it, but it's quite understated. I even found a sporadic acidity in the finish that tingles, tingled on the sides of the tongue. It's smooth overall with no bitterness and a little bit of acidity, what I've just mentioned. It's not the dark roast I was expecting, but it's a really interesting coffee. And I'll give this one a score of 3.75 out of 5. It's not spectacular, but it ticks a lot of boxes. It's just the price that's a downside for me, so I wouldn't buy this one again. But if you don't mind paying a fiver for a good quality coffee, this is one that you may want to try. So that was my review. I would really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other Roastworks coffees that are available in Tesco. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.